All right, y'all. I really think I got this shit. I think I finally got it. I think I got this shit. Y'all just hit me out. So, according to Nostradamus, right? I tried to make the video one time, but for some reason it didn't save. I'm going to try this shit again. So, anyway, according to Nostradamus from Dolores Cannon, um, the so-called Antichrist, is supposedly had been born February 4th, 1962. Born in Jerusalem. Went to college in Egypt. Studied philosophy. Majored in, uh, along with philosophy, economics and computers. Okay. Anyway, let's go and get this shit clear right quick. We got to clear a misnomer, even according to Dolores Cannon, Nostradamus was saying that what you think is an antichrist is not an antichrist. This this motherfucker that he's talking about, or that they're calling a so-called antichrist, is really just a supreme devil. He's one of the chief devils in charge. Okay, but according to Nostradamus, um, this antichrist, well, actually, it's supposed to be three. Um, Napoleon was supposed to be an antichrist. Adolf Hitler was supposed to be an antichrist. And this person that was supposedly already born February 4th, 1962 is supposed to be like the last Antichrist. But there's a pattern, if y'all notice this, that they're, they're only calling white people or Caucasians that kill other Caucasians Antichrist. These motherfuckers ain't calling people like Leopold of Belgium an Antichrist. Because guess what? He was killing millions of Congolese. Killed like 14 million Congolese, right? But he's not considered an antichrist. Why is that? What the fuck? Now, so according to Dolores Cannon, she claims that Nostradamus said that Napoleon was killing all these Europeans. Of course, we know Adolf Hitler was killing all these European Jewish people. Okay. Now, this other one is supposed to be like worse. He's supposed to perfect the things that Adolf Hitler and Napoleon had imperfected, you know. So he's basically capitalizing off where they messed up at and he's perfecting what they did. Well, you know, what, what they messed up on. So anyway, the Antichrist, according to Nostradamus, is a misnomer because the real Antichrist is people like J. Edgar Hoover and the FBI through what they call their um, COINTELPRO Pro, where, they, where they're trying to prevent the rise of a black messiah. But this just goes to show how small their intelligence is. Why would you stop the rise of a black messiah? Who could possibly prevent this so-called antichrist that they call him? Who's supposed to come and kill half the humanity off? Like, why would you stop the rise of a messiah? And the only the only group that there that that the, that the FBI and the counter the COINTELPRO is looking for this messiah to come out of is so-called black people. They ain't looking for the Chinese, the Japanese, the Mexicans, the fucking Europeans. The only group that the FBI through the counter, to, through the COINTELPRO, Pro, the only group they're looking for that the Messiah is supposed to come out of, and that they're trying to prevent is so-called black people. They ain't worried about nobody else. So we already know that the black body is about to is about to genetically unlock because of this this Aquarian constellation. It's going to force our Kundalini energies to rise up. We're going to have all our 12 DNA strands rewired. We're going to have what they call so-called junk DNA, which is really extraterrestrial or angelic DNA. So, and not only that, we're, we're on the verge of achieving our light body activation. So this is why they're trying to stop the rise of the black Messiah or the Christ, their antichrist, because once we crystallize into a light body, shit, everything ceases, you know? Their fuel, because their fuel, their fuel has been us for so long. That's why they've been generating so much wealth off of us. So their system is going to crumble if that happens. So they can't allow it. They're not trying to allow that to happen. So they are really the Antichrist. But that's why I said what they're calling the Antichrist is a misnomer. Okay. So, like I told y'all, I didn't finally, I didn't figure this shit out. Now hear me out, y'all. Hear me out. So they recently showed the movie "Leave the World Behind." I want y'all to remember some while I'm breaking this shit down. Remember, keep this in the back of y'all mind while I'm talking about this. Remember, this so-called Antichrist, remember, he's supposed to be, he's supposed to have been, went to school for philosophy, meaning that he's going to, according to Nostradamus, he's supposed to win the people over. 
And remember, he went to school and mastered in economics and computer in the computer field or computer engineering or some shit. But he's supposed to be like a master in them, in them fields. Now check this shit out. Remember the movie Leave the World Behind? What happened? An electrical magnetic pulse. It just collapsed the system. Couldn't use no debit card. Couldn't use no cell phone. You had no Wi-Fi. Couldn't use no computers. None of that shit. The TVs was out. When the internet gone. Okay? So, and there's a strong possibility, according to Nostradamus now, this, he even says that this guy's computer says that, that he's like, some type of way he's, he has some type of connection to the computer to, to where his, his system or program is rooted in 666. Okay, so if y'all really want to figure out who he is, figure out the link between that and the date where he was born and all that, and his birth and what he went to school for, and somebody gonna figure this shit out. But the movie leave the world behind. It's connected to this low vibrational ass motherfucker. Okay. So you got to think about this, right? His parents wind up, remember, according to Nostradamus, according to Dolores Cannon, his parents um, were murdered when he was a child. But he doesn't know that his uncle had his parents murdered. So he's already got a chip on his shoulder. So it won't be nothing for him to do some foul shit. Okay? Because he's already predetermined with a chip on his, on his shoulder. To do some wicked shit. Because his parents were murdered when he was a child. So he probably don't really give a fuck. It's a possibility. According to prophecy, he really don't. Okay, now, according to the Emerald Tablets, there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. And it's going to be around a time when men um, harness the light, a lightning. Okay, so we already done that. He's going to he's gonna master the air, the seas. Uh, we're already doing all that, you know, through boats and flying and all that shit and military. Okay, so we ain't around the time. Um, according to the Emerald Tablets, half of humanity is going to be wiped away, and then these extraterrestrials are going to make themselves fully known, okay? So, is the prophecy of Thoth the Atlantean, according to the Emerald Tablets, in correspondence with Nostradamus' prophecy? Hmm? Is it? Just something to think about now. And why... Are these billionaires, millionaires, building underground bunkers? What do they know that the majority don't know? Do they know that half of humanity is going to be wiped away? Do they know that chaos is about to ensure? Okay, it's going to, um, havoc is about to be wreaked in the major cities. Especially if all the damn power go out like that, you know. The electricity go out or, or EMP Actually, it takes place. They showed it on the Simpsons. In there, well, Simpsons been accurate. Yeah, Simpsons more accurate than the Bible. But anyway, I wouldn't even want to live in no city right now. When you see billionaires building shit like that, it's for a reason. They know more than what we know. Okay, they get the inside scoop because most of these motherfuckers are Freemasons. They know all of the inside scoops. So, hey, but according to the Bible, it said that even the, the rich people gonna they're gonna be trying to hide from he that's set up on the throne. They're gonna be trying to, and they and the mountain's gonna give him up, or the mountain's gonna be like, according to the Gospels of Barnabas, they said the mountain's gonna say, "Here he is, he's hiding behind me." The rock's gonna say, "He is hiding behind me." The tree's gonna say, "He is hiding behind me." In other words, you ain't gonna be able to hide, motherfucker. And according to the unbelieving Elijah Muhammad, that's supposed to be Farah Muhammad coming on the mothership to destroy their ass. It's got a bomb that's gonna got a timer on it with some steel on the front of it that's gonna drill in the earth. So if your ass even hiding in the earth in the underground bunker, I believe that's who they probably running from. If you ask me, I think that's who they're running from. That is a antichrist to them because he's coming to just crush their ass. So I think just using common sense, that's who they possibly running from or there's a strong possibility. It's got to be that because these motherfuckers already got, they already got underground cities in the earth. Okay, so, so if an EMP takes place, they can just go under earth. You know, they got them underground cities in Earth. Bill Cooper, William Cooper been exposed that shit. And um, Phil Snyder been exposed that shit. They got underground cities. Okay, under the Earth. William Cooper in the 90s said they had 99 underground cities. These billionaires know all about the shit. So why the hell are they building underground bunkers, though? 
See, this, they got these backup plans. So I think that um, it's not for an EMP. I think it's bigger than that. Then again, it could be for an EMP. They're, they're preparing themselves for it. And who, if anybody, would be equipped to do that other than the prophecy that Nostradamus is talking about? We're talking about somebody that he's into philosophy. He's into economics. So he's in the, the field of the politicians, probably. He's into computers. So he's pop. That's a strong possibility. He could hack your shit. Okay. And then send out an EMP through your shit. Okay. So, and then you got to think about it in the movie, Leave the World Behind, they was dropping off pamphlets, right? Remember they were dropping off pamphlets? Dropping off the pamphlets. And it has something to do with people from the East. Okay. And remember, this guy, he's born in Jerusalem in the East. Okay. So it's kind of pointing at the so-called Antichrist, but which we know the Antichrist really is Jago Hoover and the motherfuckers trying to stop the rise of a black messiah or the Christ that's in us because... We the motherfucking soon be Christ, okay, because of our neuro neuromelanin. We can digest the cosmic current, okay? Other races can't digest it the way we do, and we have the least calcification in the pioneer, and we know that the pioneer gland is the seat of the soul, okay? And that's how you achieve Christ consciousness. You have to have a functional pioneer gland, and like 85% of Caucasians don't have that, okay? And the other people don't have it as, like we do, you know, a functional pioneer gland. This is according to Dr. Dr. Richard King. He talks about that, how like 80 to 85% Caucasians have a calcified pineal gland. You know, you're a doctor, he didn't research and study it all in the cranium, you know. But anyway, point is, I think I finally got this shit. I think I finally got this shit. But I want y'all to let me know who y'all think it could possibly be. Okay? Y'all just remember, he gonna, he gonna deceive the world. Everybody gonna think he... He missed the, you know, oh, he helping everybody. So he's going to be like a false messiah in so many words. Okay? Going to be a false messiah. And I'm going to tell you like this. If the motherfucker ain't an aboriginal, indigenous, so-called black person, that bitch the fake. Because the real messiah or the real Christ-like being, he definitely going to look like me. Why you think the Bible say he had hair, lamb's wool, feet of brass, he had skin tone as amber? Okay? Why you this, the one that the one that they talking about, he a Arab. He look like an Arab. So it's easy to distinguish the the two. Okay, it's easy. So be not deceived, y'all. Don't be deceived with the dumb shit. Anyway, thought I'd put that out there because I think I finally got this shit, and we living right in the time zone. Okay. Oh yeah, I failed to mention this too. Also, according to the Emerald Tablets. Remember, those said that there's some beings that are going to come from this, from, from another um, constellation, and they're going to cause great havoc. And the earthborn are going to have to go to a specific landmarker, specifically the Sphinx, and up under it is buried Thoth's, the Atlantean spacecraft. And we're going to have to use it to fight off these wicked ass motherfuckers. Now, I don't know if this is in correspondence or. I don't know if this is in correspondence with the the mall in Miami incident with these extraterrestrial beings. This could be them, you know, just scouting. And these possibly could be the ones that we're going to go to war with. Because we know that this Thanos snapped your finger type shit ain't took place yet. Half of humanity has been wiped out. Because according to the Emblem Tablets, after half of humanity is wiped out, and according to Nostradamus, if there's three people, two going to wind up dead. Only one going to survive. So half of humanity is going to be wiped out. So we know that that hasn't taken place yet. So that has to take, that, that literally would have to take place after these beings from another star constellation comes and the emergence of those Atlantean spacecraft is used. Okay, so if you go in line with what should take place first, first these beings going to come, spacecraft going to be used, that's buried under the Sphinx. Then half of humanity is wiped away, okay? Cause I, damn, I ain't seen those. I ain't seen the, the speak still there. The motherfucker still there. Now if it was done away with, somebody destroyed it. Then can I understand um, how everything would align even, you know, even more so? But anyway, half of humanity is supposed to be wiped away, right? After these beings come, spacecraft is used. Then it says, according to the Emerald Tablets. That's when the extraterrestrials are supposed to make themselves known. 
And we're going to intermix, start marrying, and we're going we're gonna to start traveling to stars. We're going to be going to different constellations, different galaxies, different dimensions. That's the golden race, the golden age.